Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to talk about the extrude command. And we're going to be talking about the surfaces extrude command right here. There's a couple of different extrudes in Maya, but this is the one we're going to talk about today. This command can be found under the surfaces module. If you go down to this, if you go over this pull down menu, animation polygons surfaces, and then surfaces extrude. So this week we're kind of going over all of these surfaces commands. I've already done a video for Revolve, Loft, and Planar. I definitely uh, suggest you check those out. And uh, now we're going to go over Extrude. So what Extrude does is you it's a surface you're extruding from a curve. Okay? And the best that's the basics of it. So at minimum, you'll need at least one curve called the profile curve. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go to Create NURBS Primitive Circle. So draw a circle here. So I have this circle. I'll just rotate it 90 degrees. It's a little bit easier to see what's going to happen and hide the grid. So nothing too special about it. But I'm going to go to Surfaces, Extrude, Options, Edit, Reset. Make sure I have my, all my default settings and the very first setting we're going to choose is distance now you'll see when you select distance all of these settings beneath here change if I go to flat they change and tube uh, unlocks some of the settings that flat grays out so distance flat and tube are the three types of extrusions that this command offers first we're going to look at distance distance only requires one curve the profile curve which is going to be our circle here and we have extrude length direction and surface degree associated with this distance style of extrusion extrude length is literally how far how many units are we going to extrude this circle for example let's say 10 units and hit apply so you see here it's extruding 10 units from the position of the circle to create this cylindrical shape and I have history so I can grab these control vertices and adjust this shape so it's not just a circle you know this is a little more interesting so I'm going to delete that select my profile curve again extrude length is just distance from the uh, original position of the profile then we have direction which by default is profile normal which means along the normal of this circle or diamond in this case it will extrude in that direction you can also choose to specify and when you choose to specify it unlocks the direction vector setting which allows you to choose the x-axis y-axis z-axis or free x y and z are the traditional methods of where in, in 3D space you are oriented. You can see down here in my lower left, this is the XYZ uh, axis of my scene with Y going up. Now the actual surf the actual circle, I'm just gonna call it circle I guess, because I rotated it, its local axis is rotated so that Y is pointing this way to the right. So I don't get confused there. So when it says direction vector X and hit apply, it's gonna go this way in the X direction oriented to the scene. If I undo that and choose Y, it's going to go up and not out because it's going according to the scene's axis. If I undo that, you'll see that the circle's axis Y is pointing outward like it was at the beginning, but it's using the scene's axis and not the object's. Z axis hit apply, and that's more like what it was before because it's oriented along the Z axis. And then you have free. When you choose free, at the direction vector, free direction vector, it unlocks these input boxes where you can choose, you can put in numerical values to indicate what direction you want this extrusion to go. For example, instead of one in the Z axis, and these, these boxes are oriented X, Y, and Z, you could say one in the X and, the, and negative one in the Z maybe, and hit apply, and it goes in this axis, and this kind of diagonal direction because they have these two numbers specified. So surface degree typically indicates uh, how smooth the resulting surface is. 
Um, sometimes, for some reason, it doesn't seem to always take effect depending on the circumstances. Uh, so for cubic, for example, if I choose my profile curve here, I'm going to just go back to the profile normal being the direction rather than specifying an axis. And hit apply. We should get a cubic surface degree. Right click on my object. Control vertex. We have our points here. If I manipulate them, get kind of a rounding effect. Undo that and choose linear and apply. Yeah, in this case, it seems like I still get a bit of a cubic result. Definitely appears to be. If that happens, one thing you can do is if you choose your original NURBS circle or shape, like over here in the inputs, I can make my original circle linear. Whoa, I totally messed that up. Let me create a new circle just to be on the safe side here. Create NURBS circle in the options here. I'll say linear. Close that. There's a new circle. Rotate that 90 degrees like I had before. And then apply. There we go. We see that the surface has that linear, uh, hard edged look to it. Um, I'm not sure why the surface degree in the options here doesn't give you the effect I'm looking for. If I grab this circle, even though the circle is linear, if I say have a cubic result, it's still a linear result. Yeah, so I think it has to do more with what the profile curve, what the uh, surface degree of the profile curve is, more than what this uh, uh, setting here is set for. But anyway, that is the distance style. Those are all the settings associated strictly with the distance style. The other two styles are flat and tube, and both of these require not only a profile curve, but also a path curve, so a second curve. I'm going to delete this uh, linear circle. I'm going to create a new circle. And I'm going to make it cubic to get back to the rounded look that we had before. And rotate it 90 degrees. Alright, so we have this. And then I'm going to make a path curve. And a path curve is, strict, is the path along which your profile curve will extrude. So instead of, like in the distance uh, setting uh, style, instead of just extruding in a certain direction, you can extrude along a path. So I'm going to go to my create. Let's try the pencil curve tool. It gives me this nice pencil icon for my cursor. I'm just going to draw a curve like this. So I just drew that curve directly onto the grid. I'm going to hide the grid for now. So this is going to be my path curve, and this is my profile curve. So to do this extrusion, the flat extrusion, first you select your profile, then shift, select your path. So profile, the shape that's going to be extruded, and then shift, select the path, the path the shape will be extruded on. Now the flat style has two settings here, resulting positions at profile or at path. I'm, again, I'm going to edit reset just to make sure that when I choose flat I'm using the default settings for the flat style. So when I choose flat and at profile for the result position what I'm going to expect is for a surface to be extruded along this path shape but the resulting position to be at the profile. So I hit apply. So you see here the shape is extruded in that path's direction the same uh, overall shape of the path I drew but the position was moved to the profile's original location and because it is a flat style the profile is not rotated along the path's direction it just maintains its one direction as it gets extruded along this path so when it gets to this bend in the path it kind of gets really skinny here because you can just imagine this circle just being moved to the left without actually rotating 
pulling this surface along behind it. And because of history, I can select this original profile curve, and if I rotate it, you'll see that the shape changes. And you see over here, it gets really skinny when it gets to that bend in the path. Because again, the profile is not rotating along the path. It is the flat style. And because I had result position set to at profile, instead of being along, along the path's uh, positioning, it's positioned over here at the profile's path. I'm sorry, at the profile's position. Let me delete that, select my profile again, shift select my path, and choose at path instead of at profile. And I think you understand where this is going. Hit apply. And you see that the shape of the profile, which in this case is a circle, gets extruded with a flat style along the path at the path's position. So that's the basics of the flat style of extruding. And if I choose these curves, I can manipulate their points because of history and change the shape of the resulting surface as well. Undo that. I'll keep the circle for now so it's easier to see. I can also, just like with the profile, I can adjust the paths points as well and the surface will change. So let's delete that. I think most people don't tend to use distance or flat. I think tube is the most used option for the style for the extrude because when I go to edit reset settings you see that it defaults to tube. This is the one that most people use and because it's, it's used to create tubes which is very useful for a lot of different kinds of things when you're making things.